And we're back, but not one, not two, but three hosts. We got a special guest. Boom. Pop it up right in front of us. Pop, pop, popping, popping. She's popping like a colonel. The colonel is named Anna Jacobs. Anna, you were with us on a brew with you. Yes, absolutely. And now you're here with us on the preamble. Like that's yes, that's 100%. that's a super honor. That's Welcome, that many, Anna. Many crossover All right. guests here. That's pretty exciting. Hey, we'll take what we can get. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you sit down in this there chair. We're go. keeping you for as long as we can keep you. That's awesome. How exactly. you doing, Anna? I'm great. Doing great. Doing great. Stoked to be here. I love movies. Yeah. See, so when I brought this up to you. And you said, uh, like, how you feel about movies and doing a podcast and this. You're like, oh, I fucking love movies. Whoa. You've been, like, a movie person your whole life? Uh, yeah, just about. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, I was, a, I was like, a book kid growing up. I was really into... Dork. Really nerd. <laughs> nerd. Dork. Dork. What are those? <laughs> yeah. That's we book. don't know what those are and they should be. <laughs> Beak. But Beak. I love... Uh, but I love... Yeah, I've been a movie person my whole life. Yeah? Um, yeah, big movies. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, uh, I think, like, it's... Just the universal language yeah, is film. For and sure. Why not talk about some trailers, some films that you like? So, I mean, growing up, uh, I mean, you got memories of the theater, you know, going up in uh, Baltimore, mm. as it was, right? Yeah. Uh, not a ton of theater there, but yeah, we've got some theater. <laughs> <laughs> The theater, the streets, maybe. That's right. You know, you have to like find your way in. Yeah, you know, for yeah, sure. Because for the sure. theater's being used for something else. Probably like an AA meeting or something. No? Yeah. That was, was like mean. Crack house. <laughs> uh, I didn't roll If it's in. accurate, you probably <laughs> see it, you know? Right. Well, we are now um, going to be doing the segment, The Homage. Banner comes across the screen. So I go like this The Homage. And as always, the guest picks. Our blast from the past movie. So, Anna, what are you presenting to us? Uh, I would like to bring to the table the Birdcage, oh. circa 1996. Fabulous. Love it. Love it. Wonderful soundtrack. I, I, I yeah. like this because is this our first comedy on this show? What? We don't have many comedy trailers on this show. I'm trying to think about you it. You guys got some dark friends. Yeah. Yeah. We do. <laughs> like, we're thinking about the homage. It's always like The Shining or Alien or like these like like really Space good trailers Odyssey, where they're like really. 2001 or whatever. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of exactly. Kubricks pretty much then. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> comedy trailers are like hard to do. It's hard to like showcase a comedy true, in a trailer. True, true, true. And I honestly think coincidentally, you know, we've always said that it's so hard to do a comedy trailer, but this trailer does a fantastic it job. Really does. It really does. We watched the trailer right before we did this. Good pacing. And yeah, it gives you like a kind of like a mini spoiler at the end uh, with Lathan Lane, but I don't think it ruins the movie or anything. Yeah, no, not at all because you the, the ending is still sort of a shock and how it pans out uh, with the whole family is still pretty surprising. Yeah, I didn't even know who Nathan Lane was before, before this movie. Before really? This, before this oh, movie. before this movie. Yeah, before this movie. Like when yeah. it was in 96. He so. did something somewhat big before 96, I think, didn't he? It was called a little movie called The Lion King. What? For sure. He 94. was in The Lion King? Yeah, yeah he was uh, uh, Timon. Yeah. Oh my the God, you're right. Yes, yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah. I feel it means right. no worries for the rest of your days. <laughs> no, I, I I do think that the, the trailer was really, really good. I think um, yeah. it showcased a lot of the comedic moments sure. without spoiling too much. I mean, you've seen the movie though, right? I mean, like you've yeah. seen it a lot of times. Oh so yeah, you're gonna, a lot yeah. of times. It's been a while. It's a family since favorite. It. Yeah, see, that's so funny. I love that you said that. It's a family favorite. Yeah, my gr my grandfather loves it. That's so. Is loves it. See, whenever I think of the name, like whenever I hear grandfather, I always think like, you know, whittler chewing tobacco. Like, oh god, no. But and so like I, I hear a gra grandfather like in this movie. That's that's well, he's like an old, he's old white Irish. Uh, you know, loves Kennedy, Catholic, <laughs> loves World War II. Am I II. your grandfather? <laughs> yeah, right, right. The holy that, shit. Hundred percent Irishman, yeah. right here. Holy shit. But no, he's he's a big fan. That's so funny. I, I yeah. I, I don't know. Um, you know, it's funny to me that it's one of those movies to me that everyone likes the Berg Angel or like, oh yeah, not Can at like least love appreciate it. Appreciate exactly. Yeah. But it's not ever like talked about. Mm too much in terms of like oh this is my favorite movie or well it's not mentioned greatest. as like a big cult classic either which in our family it is a cult classic sure. but it's not just a yeah. classic in your family it sounds yeah, pretty, like yeah it's just yeah, a classic it's like it's open <laughs> We're, yeah, it's the open. movie yeah. it's like hey it's Christmas morning we're watching The Birdcage yeah. every single time every single time we get oh, together is that right Christmas, Easter, whatever like, shut up really? at least once we watch oh, it oh that's yeah. awesome bad, if there's bad news if there's good news Any just put on The Birdcage there's mediocre news like what would if you walked home and The Birdcage was playing like I like, would sit down like, and start quoting it with my mom immediately. Oh, so you wouldn't be like, Mom, what's going on? 
No. You wouldn't be like, no. I just be like, sweet, and sit down. And start <laughs> okay, watching. good. It's not yeah. like I see what you're saying, Johnny. It's no. not like the burger. Oh shit, you have some bad news. Yeah. And you have an easy or way like, to tell me right now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or like, who got engaged? Or who's yeah. pregnant? Like, no, no. Literally any moment in time. It could be okay, fine. so Walk it wasn't home. like you know sometimes like your mom would make that special meal and you'd be like, what the hell? Is going <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> coming home like yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like mom comes home like, mom is sitting on the couch. The birdcage is on. <gasps> Mittens died. <laughs> no! <laughs> I, I, I have you to watch be, and you laugh anyway. You laugh, cry. That's something it's about your better. family, though, because you all, as a family, watching the movie. My family wouldn't be able to watch this together. Like, it's just, I think there's like the uncomfortable factors. I mean, because the, the opening sequence is like a drag scene, right? Yeah. yeah so, like, that, that just wouldn't happen in my yeah. household. I, well, I mean, my family is extremely Catholic. But like they're liberal Catholics, but sure. it's yeah. a it's a weird thing. I don't know. Sure. I don't really get it. They're, <laughs> they're I don't them. really get it. They're them. They're, they're the Jacobs. They are. <laughs> hey. And they're just they're 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 Irish and Italian Catholic from New York City, but like raised poor. But then they ended up getting a bunch of money. But then we were poor because my parents didn't make any money. So it was like we have these like conflicting things where it's like we've there's some money and there's some class, but then there's some trash and there's some liberalism. It does. It just sounds like America to me. It's real yeah. America. It's real <laughs> America. So my family like, too. Yeah. They don't really care. They, they, you know, the drag, my grandfather would probably go to a drag show and have a time of his life. He would drink his martini. He'd be wearing his Brooks brothers button up, you know, Sure. Oh, yeah, he'd get hit on him. He bet. wears his loafers. Well, yeah. He's got his, you know. I love Chuckle it. every time he got his But he grabs. would love it. He'd be like, oh. Yeah. I think drag shows are fun, actually. Oh, I mean, drag I shows are of, awesome. Well, one of my really good friends, when he came out, you know, he didn't have a gay community yet or friends or anything. And he asked me one time, he's like, can you do this with me as a friend, you know? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, I'll be there to support you. And this is like your new life and new style and be there for you. I was like, this is great. And he's like, you're not going. I'm like, no, it's fun. Look at this is entertainment. They're having a great time. You know, it's It's entertaining. Fun. It's yeah. absolutely yeah. entertaining. And there's Tons of drink. Anytime oh, so there's much alcohol, drinks. it's like oh we're gonna have a good time, yeah. man. It's like we're, yeah. Well, it's like it's also like in Chicago, like the Gay Pride Parade. I mean, oh everyone comes out to that, you know. I mean, well, no pun intended, but everyone comes out to that. Um, it it's like it's yeah, it's yeah. just it's just a it's a whole city like celebration. The St. Patrick's Day Parade, everyone's Irish. The Gay Pride Parade, <laughs> everyone's, everyone's gay. gay. Yeah, you're just yeah. gay. It's totally true. Fun. And the Birdcage was the one that taught us that. Yeah. You got any final thoughts on Birdcage? Any? Well, I would say yeah. this is directed by Mike Nichols. Obviously, like it's an actor's. He's an actor's director. Like you, you know, Robin Williams at his best. Nathan Lane's laugh is just oh, amazing. So it's the best. perfect. It's so good. Uh, but like this is just like Mike Michael Nichols saying like actors do your thing yeah. and they kill it. And I think that's why this is so relatable to people because Mike Nichols is orchestrating it like how, what he did with the graduate and everything you can see he's like relating it to everybody it's not um like shoving anything th down your throat no. it's just like two people from opposite sides of the world trying to get along because yeah. of their their kids and yeah. it feels i mean like i you know I, I hate to use the word progressive but i mean for 96 for this movie to come out and like with those actors mm -hmm. and that like with that budget you know and that you know, marketing like that's pretty, you know, it says something too. Yeah. And also, but also the impact it left too. But I mean, that's also a lot of praise what you just said to the director as well to just be like, you know, here's your beats now do your thing. Yeah. Be, and you just can be, feel the fact that they were, that the actors were really bringing themselves to the roles as well. Sure. You could yeah. really feel Nathan Lane in that role. You could really feel, I mean, even Diane Weist, who's like, who's been, you know, in, she's been a, Badass oh, woman in a bunch oh, of movies, fantastic. and she plays this reserved, conservative, conservative woman. wife. Yes. And, oh my! You know, it's just she, she yeah. brings her own self to the table, and I really like. Gasp after you hear the word tit mouse. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Well, awesome. Thank you, Anna, for bringing up the birdcage. Totally. I'm one um, for a comedy, which is pretty rare, which we need to. It's very surprising. For two people who have like who originally met each other through comedy, we never had one comedy. Very surprising. Uh, that's on the on the show, so exciting for that, and. Uh, Really disappointed in us, and for that, I swear we had one. I don't think so. <laughs> for an homage, I don't think so. But for um, like other trailers, we have. I mean, yeah, yeah. had some dark days. Man. Yeah. Man. Thank you, Anna, for showing us the lights. Absolutely, yeah. yes. guys. Been like a bird <laughs> coming out of its cage to the light, and we're gonna move this on to some fun now to our next segment, which we haven't really labeled yet because we don't do movie malarkey anymore. No, but we're. We're doing the lightning, the, round. the lightning round. Watch get burned now. Yeah. We're do that. All right. Stay tuned for that. Coming up next.